In this video I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for saving files in Screenshot Capture. You can see by default the program will automatically name a file when you capture it using a template that you can configure in the options. Typically if you're capturing a series of images for one project you might put the project name here and then when uh, each time you capture a new image, the quick field or the project name is put at the beginning of the screenshot name. And you can see I've got my screenshots configured to save with the date and time, but you can configure that the way you want. Now from Screenshot Capture, if you want to rename an image, you can just quickly change the name here and say, for example, Notepad Pick and hit Enter and what you can see is that it's renamed the file and you can see the name of the file up here in the title bar and in the sidebar. A less known trick is that you can actually change the file format from here. You can see by default this I've got Screenshot Capture configured to save in the PNG format which is probably the best for screenshots but let's say I wanted to change this to a uh, BMP file, I can just add the extension here and hit enter, and it's actually going to resave the file in this new format, in the BMP format. You can see down here it's 487K, there's the image dimension, so let's go back and change this to PNG again. And you can see as a PNG now this is a 9K file. What else can you do for saving? Well, one of the common things you do when you want to manipulate files is keep copies, old copies of the original. So Screenshot Capture makes that particularly easy with this Save Plus button, which will actually save a copy of the file with a new automatically named version. So let's just click that now. And we can see what's happened is it's added this version 001 and saved a new copy. Now I'm working on a new copy. So I might crop it, let's say, crop it, add a new border, add a extra border, and I'll click Save Plus again to save yet another copy, and we can see now it saved it as version 002. This is very useful if you're going to do operations and you want to keep saving additional copies so as not to destroy your original, and then when you're done you can just move them all into the junk file and stick with the current version you like. What else can we do? We can do the Save As button, which will bring up a dialog here where we can now change the format and you could even choose to save as a PDF. Now I've got a copy of this file as a PDF. Um, what else can we do? We can change the way Screenshot Capter reacts to changes in the file um, and manual saving. Let's say I make a change to this file. Let's say I crop it and maybe I'll resize it to a larger image. Okay. Now let's say I switch to another, I want to switch to another file or let's say I want to capture some, a new, a new image. Well, we get this dialog by default. It tells us that there have been changes to this file. Do we want to save these changes? And we've got some choices. We can either abandon the changes, reverting back to the original file. We can cancel the operation, change our mind. We can save the changes and overwrite the existing file. Or we can actually tell Screensh Screenshot Capture to now save it as a new file name. And then we've got options for whether to show this dialog. We can have it always ask us. We can have it always save and overwrite the file. Or we can have it always rename. In this case, I'm going to cancel the operation. I don't really want to save it. If I want to save it, I'll click the Manually Save button right there. But that dialog is actually quite useful to keep you from forgetting to save changes and to keep you from accidentally saving changes you don't want. You can also configure that option from the saving and loading dialog right here. Those are the that controls how that dialog is shown. What else? I guess the last thing to mention is this option for not auto saving captures. By default, whenever you capture a screenshot or a scan from the scanner, 
Screenshot Capture will save that file for you. That's almost always what you want. However, if you're capturing lots of images and most of them you want to discard immediately and don't want to save, you can check this box and what will happen is as you capture each new image Screenshot Capture will just keep a copy of it in memory. If you want to save it you'll have to tell Screenshot Capture to save the file. If you don't after each new capture it will be erased the previous capture. Um, let's see I guess the last thing to show you is just how to delete images you don't like. You've actually got uh, lots of ways to move the images into junk folders, which is what I do. I rarely delete images right away, just in case I change my mind. But if you do want to delete an image, you can just go to this big red X, click it here, and it will delete the image um, and move to the last one. And there you have it.